In this video, we're going to install Elasticsearch on a digital ocean droplet. So whether or not you use digital ocean already, we're going to go from start to finish. And then in the end of the tutorial, we're just going to test a request to our server. So the first thing we want to do is actually create a droplet. So I'm just going to create a droplet with the name of ES. Um, we can just choose some standard options here, it doesn't really matter. We're going to choose an Ubuntu version and then we're going to hit create droplet. So I haven't protected this with SSH, but my uh, root password is going to be emailed to me. So once this is up and running, we can go ahead and SSH over to the server. Okay, so now that's done, let's SSH over to our server. I'm going to SSH using the root account, which has been generated for us. and let's go ahead and grab the password for this and just pop that in there okay so it's asking to change the root password so let's just do that there we go okay so the first thing that we need to do is we need to update apt so we're going to do apt get update and once that's done we need to install java runtime because elasticsearch depends on this so the first thing we need to do is add a repository that contains the Java runtime. So we're going to say sudo apt add repository ppa web update team java. And when that's, once that's done, we're then going to update again. Okay, so now that's done, we can actually run the installer for Java 7. So obviously it's Oracle, Java 7, and installer. There we go, let's hit yes to continue. And then we're going to hit OK here to accept the license. And then hit yes. Right, so now that's done, that was a little bit complicated, but we can test that we're running... Uh, Java just by typing Java and version and you can see if I just clear that and run it again uh, we get uh, our Java version back so we know that we have our dependencies installed now we're going to go and install Elasticsearch so heading over to elasticsearch.org slash download we have the Debian package this is what we want so I'm going to copy the link address for this and then I'm going to go ahead and back in here I'm going to just do a wget on that address so that's going to pull that and download that file for me and because this is a Debian package what we can now do is say DPKG which stands for Debian package and we can install what we've just downloaded so in this case I'm going to just copy this here and then I'm going to paste it there and there we go that looks like it's done so this will automatically start up whenever you start your server. There's an initialization created for this. Um, but let's take a look at where Elasticsearch has been installed. It does actually tell us just here. Um, so if we just copy and paste this, we can just CD over to that directory. There we go. Let's do a listing here. Uh, you can see all the normal things here. Now in the bin folder for binaries, you can see that we've got Elasticsearch and we've also got plugin which allows us to install Elasticsearch plugins if we need to. Now the most important thing now is actually running Elasticsearch. So I'm just going to run Elasticsearch and that will just start up as normal as if you were sort of running it on local. So now we can actually head over to something like Postman and or, or really just in your browser it doesn't really matter if you just want to test this but I'm going to send a request to this on port 9200 which is the port that Elasticsearch runs on and there we go we get back the status or the information or the meta whatever you want to call it of the server or the Elasticsearch build your configuration files are located if we just come out of Elasticsearch here are located in etc Elasticsearch you can see them here you can modify whatever you want here as normal and then just restart Elasticsearch now bear in mind that you will need to protect this server against public access when you're using it and there are a variety of ways of doing this so go ahead and look this up and decide which is the best method for you I'm not going to cover this in this video but here we've covered installing Elasticsearch on a digital ocean droplet.